Story time, kids. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou Makes Cookies. It all happened when Caillou was just three years old. La, la, la. Play quietly now. Rosie's going to take her nap. Shh. Caillou? But I want to play. You can still play. Just do it quietly. Caillou felt that being quiet wasn't as much fun as being noisy. Caillou? I asked you to play quietly. So, Caillou went to the kitchen. Oh. Honey! decided to make some honey cookies. And so, Caillou got to work, making a whole bunch of honey cookies. Fat ones, skinny ones, flat ones, and round ones. Oh, Caillou, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm making cookies. Look at the mess you made. Do you want to help Mommy clean it up? Yes, Mommy, me and you. We have to make sure the kitchen is nice and clean. Now, where's that dustpan? I found it! <laughs> <laughs> That's the way, my favorite helper. Caillou. Caillou was very proud. He was helping Mommy make cookies. Mommy. You made a mess. <laughs> You're right. Mommy makes messes, too. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, try the cookies. Try the cookies. Mmm, who made these good cookies? I did, and Mommy helped. What are you making, Caillou? A big mess. Come on, kids. It's Caillou story time. What's the story called, Grandma? It's called Caillou Isn't Afraid Anymore. It all happened when Caillou was three years old. Mr. Hinkle lived next door. Lots of children said there was a ghost in his scary old house. Mr. Hinkle's house sure looked spooky. And so did Mr. Hinkle. Why, Caillou, what's the matter? It's Mr. Hinkle. He's scary. Why do you say that? Mr. Hinkle is scary. Look, he wants to catch me. He's not there. And besides, I know Mr. Hinkle, and he's very nice. Why, hello there, Caillou. <gasps> Poor Mr. Hinkle felt sad when he saw Caillou run away. Don't be frightened. Mr. Hinkle came over to say he was sorry you were scared. He's really a nice man. I don't like him. I think you're just afraid of Mr. Hinkle because you don't know him. Hello? Can I come in? 
Come in, Mr. Hinkle. Caillou, Mr. Hinkle would like to... Caillou? Oh, but where did Caillou go? I don't know. He was here a minute ago. Oh, boy. I think he's playing hide-and-go-seek. And I love playing hide-and-go-seek. Ready or not, Caillou, here we come. Now, where, oh, where could he be? Caillou, you, where are you? Shh, Gilbert, they hear us. Oop, I think Caillou's hiding downstairs. We're getting warmer. I wonder if he's in here. I don't see him. No, he's not here. Let's check another room. <laughs> There's only one place left where Caillou could be. <laughs> I think I'm getting warmer and warmer. Caillou forgot all about being scared of Mr. Hinkle. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad to see you two are friends now. I want to play again. I'd like that very much, Caillou. And this time, I'll hide and you can seek. I like you, Mr. Hinkle. Aha! <laughs> Grandma, this is dinner time, not story time. Well, this is a story about dinner time and eating your vegetables. Back when Caillou was just three years old, he didn't like vegetables very much. In fact, he hated them. Caillou, eat your vegetables. Grandpa will be coming soon to take you to the park. But you can't go to the park if you don't finish your vegetables. I hate vegetables. I want chocolate chip cookies. Cookies are for dessert, Caillou. Found some! You can have a cookie after you finish your vegetables. I love vegetables. Eat my vegetables, Daddy. Oh, no, you don't. At least try to eat your vegetables, Caillou. Come on, Caillou, let's go to the park. I'm going to the park with Grandpa. And after the park, we'll go see Grandma. She's making us supper. Wow, a caterpillar. Caterpillars eat leaves so they can have the energy to turn into butterflies. Turn into butterflies? What's the bird doing, Grandpa? It's looking for worms to eat. Worms give them the energy they need to fly south for the winter. And squirrels eat nuts. They save them up for later when it gets too cold to go outside. Mmm, yummy. Bears eat berries. Tonight, these peas and carrots are our berries. Roar! Roar! I'm a bear. Roar! Roar! Later that night, Mom and Dad drop by to pick up Caillou. And how was Caillou today? Roar! I'm a bear. I'm a bear, too. And we both ate all our vegetables. We ate our berries, Grandpa. And that means it's time for... Cookies! Story time, kids. 
Here it is, silly. Caillou wasn't lost at all. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou's All Alone. Play with me, Mommy. Shh, Caillou. I'm busy. Fourteen, fifteen. Can I help you count? One, two, three, four. Caillou, this is very difficult. I can help you. I can help you. Sixteen, twenty, one, two, three. Oh, no, Caillou. Look what you've done. Caillou, I really need to be left alone right now. I'm too busy to play. Why don't you go find Daddy? Maybe he'll play with you. Caillou had really wanted his mommy to play with him. Wait a minute. Maybe Daddy could play with him. But Caillou didn't know his Daddy was very busy, too. Daddy, Daddy! Wow, is it broken? Not anymore. I fixed it. Snowman, Daddy. Look, I'm a snowman, too. Look, Daddy. Caillou, I have a lot of cleaning up to do, and I really need to do it alone. Why don't you go and find Grandma? Caillou was quite sure Grandma would like to hear all about his Daddy's troubles with the washing machine. There's a good girl, Rosie. Close your eyes, dear. Hmm. I thought she'd never get to sleep. Ah, at last. Grandma, look at me! <gasps> I'm a snowman! Shh! Caillou! Shh! Rosie's sleeping. Daddy was fixing the washing machine, and all these bubbles came out all over him. There were bubbles everywhere, Grandma. Shh! Caillou, please be quiet. You'll wake up Rosie. <laughs> Caillou, Rosie and I really need to be left alone. Why don't you go and play with Gilbert? Gilbert, you'll play with me, won't you? Oh. Maybe Mommy's finished counting. I'm sorry, Caillou. I just have to be on my own right now. Do you want to play with me? Yay! Caillou! Snack. Caillou was enjoying himself so much, he never even heard his mommy calling. Caillou? <laughs> are you all right? We were a bit worried about you being here all alone. What are you doing? Nothing. Just playing. Story time, kids. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou Tidies His Toys. Caillou, where are you? <laughs> well, it's not like Caillou to disappear when we're having chocolate pudding. That's right. Caillou adores chocolate pudding. Hey, wait for me. Just look at this mess. What did I tell you, Caillou? I'm not supposed to leave my toys on the stairs. Caillou knew very well he wasn't supposed to leave his toys on the stairs. Put them in your room, please, Caillou. Chocolate pudding? I love chocolate pudding. Caillou, come here, please. Hmm, that sounds important. I think you'd better go and see what Daddy wants. Caillou, what have I told you about leaving your toys in the driveway? I'm not supposed to. That's right. So I want you to put them away. What about my chocolate pudding? Your chocolate pudding can wait. 
Here, I'll help you. Even though his daddy was going to help him, Caillou still wasn't very happy. Caillou, I want a word with you. Uh oh. Caillou, you have to tidy up all these toys. Then you can have your chocolate pudding. Yes, Daddy. Are you sure we picked up all your toys? I'm sure. Look! Then it's chocolate pudding time! Yay! Chocolate pudding! Oops! I think you better take a look at this. and they take up so much space. I know. And there's lots of old ones you don't really play with anymore. What should we do? You could give some of the old ones to Rosie. I could give her one toy and maybe some more later. What you really need is a big box to put your toys in. Would you like to help me make one? Wow, yes! As soon as I finish my chocolate pudding. <laughs> <laughs> there. That should do it. Thank you, Daddy. Let's see if the lid fits properly. Story time, kids. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou Learns to Drive. <laughs> Have you seen Caillou anywhere? He said he wanted to help me with the car. I think he's in the garden, <laughs> driving his car. Beep, beep! Caillou's in his car! <laughs> now you probably know that Caillou loves anything to do with cars and buses and trucks. There you are. Daddy! Did you forget? You said you wanted to help me wash the car. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Caillou imagined he was driving the most fantastic car you ever saw. Hello, Mr. Lion. me do. Oops. <laughs> Daddy, you're all wet. What happened? Caillou had no idea that he was the one who made his daddy spray himself with water. Well, it was an accident. Don't I look silly? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still want to help me? You bet. I was driving the car, Daddy. Is that right? Yes. I love cars, you know. Mm, I know you do. I used to love cars when I was little, too. And you still love cars. Look, Mommy. It's all clean and shiny. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go for a picnic at the beach. Mr. Lion. Can I drive the car when I'm bigger, Daddy? Will you teach me? Of course, Caillou. Of course. It 
it's time for a story, you guys. Let's see where Caillou went today. Today's story is called Caillou at Daycare. It was Caillou's first day, and he was a little bit nervous. I don't want to go, Mommy. I want to stay with you. Oh, so do I, Caillou, but you know, Mommy has to go to work. And daycare can be fun. Hooray! Hear that? Hello, I'm Ann Martin, the teacher. And you must be Caillou. Caillou was scared and shy. Now I'm going to have to go, honey. <laughs> no, I don't want you to go, Mommy. I'll be back, Caillou. Don't be sad. Even Caillou's mommy was sad to leave him at daycare for the first time. Here, Caillou, have a glass of apple juice. Do you want me to introduce you to the other children? Okay, maybe after your juice, then. Hey! Those are my blocks! Mommy! <laughs> your mommy's gone. Clementine. What's your name? Uh, Caillou. That's Leo. He doesn't like to share. Do you want to play? I'm doing cutouts. See? Here's an apple, and that's a banana, and this is raisin toast. You can't eat them, though. They're only pretend. Do you like daycare? I like staying at my grandma's better. That's where you stay when your mom and dad are busy? She's an artist and I get to play with paints and brushes and paper and crayons and chalk and colored pencils. We got all that stuff here. Oh, boy! I'm going to paint a... a robin. I'll do cutouts of what robins eat. That's worms! That's a good robin. Could, could you teach me how to paint like that? Sure, Leo, if you teach us how to build a castle. A castle has to have lots of towers. A worm has to have lots of twists. And a robin has to have lots of red. Here, Leo, you can make a flag for the castle. Caillou! We have to make this tower higher. Caillou was having so much fun playing, he didn't even notice his mommy and daddy. Look, I'm making a castle. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's story time, kids. Caillou doesn't look very happy. I wonder why. Today's story is called Caillou Joins the Circus. <laughs> about a tiger. Daddy's taking me to the circus today. He promised. I'm getting dressed all by myself. Daddy will be so happy. Oops. Oh. Ouch. Oh, no. I forgot to brush my teeth. Look, I got dressed all by myself. Ah, I can see that. And you did a very good job. But it's so early. I don't want to be late for the circus. The circus? Oh, no, Caillou, that's not today. The circus isn't until tomorrow. No, no, it's today. <laughs> I got all dressed. <laughs> it's today. Come on, Caillou. Come downstairs and help me make breakfast. Caillou 
was in a very bad mood because he wasn't going to the circus. Caillou, stop all this racket. You woke up Rosie. I want you to come downstairs right now. Even Caillou's daddy was starting to get angry. Why can't I go to the circus? I want to go to the circus. Let's make toast. We can cut it into little duckies, like Grandma does. No! I don't want to make duckies. That's for babies. Well then, how about a circus breakfast? We can cut circus animals out of toast to have with our boiled eggs. But wait a minute. We're missing something. Something that comes before the circus animals. Now, what could that be? A parade? A circus parade? Of course, that's it. I can get the eggs. Yeah. Whoa! Ah. If you wanted scrambled eggs, you should have said so. It's not my fault. I know, Caillou. It wasn't anybody's fault. It was an accident. Daddy, the toast! Hot, hot, hot! Ouch, ouch, ouch! <laughs> you can be in the circus, Daddy. You're a good juggler. <laughs> and Rosie can be the clown. Oh, what's Yay! going on here? We're having a circus. Do you want to be in our parade, Mommy? Oh, are you going to be the lady who rides the horse? I don't think so, sweetheart. I think I'll be the lady who marches back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Story time, kids! This all happened when Caillou was just three years old. Today's story is called, Caillou is Afraid in the Dark. Good night, Caillou. Have sweet dreams. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> bed bugs. Oh. Mommy! Caillou, what's wrong? Bugs, Mommy. There. All gone. They were just shadows. But what about the scratchy monster? I don't hear a scratchy monster. There is a scratchy monster in here. He's making scratchy sounds. I'm sure you think you heard something. But there's no need to be afraid of monsters. Do you know why? Because monsters aren't real. They're just make-believe. Good night, dear. I'm not afraid of monsters. I'm not afraid of monsters. Ah! Uh. Ow! Huh? Daddy! It's okay, Caillou. It's just your toy, Snakey. Yes, but there was a flying monster and a scratchy monster. You probably just imagined you heard something, Caillou. I can't find anything. But the scratchy monster, he went... Try listening to the music box. It'll make happy sounds for you while you sleep. Good night, Caillou. The wind was making the tree branch hit the window. That's what was making the scary noise. See, darling? Sometimes ordinary things can seem scary. So the scratchy monster was just the tree? Look! The scratchy monster! It wasn't a monster. It was just Gilbert. That cat. You'll be able to sleep fine now, dear. With a little help from Teddy. There won't be any more scary sounds. I know how Teddy can help make sure there won't be any more scary sounds. Good, Good night, night, Caillou.
What's the matter, kids? Our friends are supposed to come, and they're not here. Well, while we're waiting, it's story time. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou's Friends. Caillou was feeling very sorry for himself. Whatever's the matter, Caillou? You don't look very happy. I've got nobody to play with. Don't you have any friends? No. I don't. At that moment, Caillou really thought he didn't have any friends. And that made him feel even more sad and lonely. I'm sure you must have some friends. Let's see if we can think of one. What about that nice girl, Clementine? Clementine loves candies. Can I... Nope. Okay. Want some? Oh, no! I'm putting the yellow ones in a row. Caillou, that candy was on the floor. It's not going in your mouth. Wait a minute. I have some more here. They're clean. Well, that's one friend. Do you have any others? I don't think so. Let's see now. What about that boy, Leo? <laughs> Leo's funny. <laughs> What's so funny, you two? Nothing, Mommy. <laughs> well, now, that's two friends. Do you have any others? No. Really? What about Gilbert? Isn't he your friend? Yay! Caillou had forgotten about Gilbert. Of course Gilbert was his friend. Yay, Gilbert, you're my friend. Caillou was much happier now. He started out thinking he didn't have any friends. But now he knew he had three. And now that he knew he had three friends, Caillou began to think about whether he had any more. Rosie's my sister, Grandma, but she's my friend too. That's right. Caillou? Hello, everybody. Hello, Mr. Hinkle. And Mr. Hinkle's my friend, too. I have lots of friends, don't I, Grandma? Yes, you do. <sighs> Look who's coming. It's Mommy and Daddy. Mommy, Daddy, you're my friends, and so's Rosie and Gilbert and Mr. Hinkle and Clementine and Leo. Are those all your friends? Yes. Aren't you forgetting someone? Oh, yes! And you're my friend too, Grandma. I hope this will make you feel better. It's story time! When Caillou was three, he got a really bad earache. And today's story is called, Caillou Visits the Doctor. I don't want to see the doctor, Mommy. Why not, Caillou? The doctor hurt me. You're much better now. It won't hurt this time. The doctor's ready for you now, Caillou. Now come along, Caillou. The doctor's nice. I don't like her. My dinosaur's going to bite the doctor. Caillou? Hello, Caillou. How nice to see you again. Now, how's that ear coming along? Let's take a look. No! My dinosaur's going to bite you. Oh, so your dinosaur isn't happy to see me. Hmm. Do you think he'd mind if I looked in your ear? Last time Caillou was at the doctor's, his ear hurt him a lot. <laughs> so this is what's bothering you. You put that in my ear, you hurt me. <laughs> Would you like to look through it, Caillou? It's really interesting. Okay.
Well, can I look in your ear now? You're much better, and it won't hurt like last time. Okay. <laughs> I'm very pleased. You'll be all better in a day or two. Oh, no. He's not going to bite me, is he? Ah, I see. You want me to check the dinosaur's ear. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. I think you must have been giving him the right medicine, Dr. Caillou. Well done, Dr. Caillou. Your dinosaur's all better now. When Dr. Caillou got home, he couldn't wait to find someone with an earache. It's funny in your ears, Gilbert. <laughs> I want to look in your ear. this story. <laughs> Excuse me. Now let's see. What did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Big Brother Caillou. It all happened back when Caillou was a very little boy, about two and a half years old. Baby sister coming, Mommy? Very soon, Caillou. I'm going to the hospital today. Grandma will look after you. A few days later, Caillou was very excited because he was going to meet Rosie for the very first time. Mommy here! Daddy here! We're home! All three of us! Say hello to your new sister, Caillou. This is Rosie. Caillou wasn't sure if he liked Rosie. Oh, she's just beautiful! She's absolutely adorable! Isn't she gorgeous? She's my special girl. <coughs> Rosie wasn't very happy, and neither was Caillou. Nobody was paying attention to him. He thought they only cared about Rosie. Caillou was so unhappy, he didn't even like his doll anymore. Would you like to rock the baby, Caillou? No! Caillou didn't know if he liked Rosie very much. Okay. Maybe later. Daddy wasn't happy to see him pinching Rosie. Caillou, why did you do that to Rosie? I don't like Rosie. Why not? Rosie doesn't play with me. But she's only a baby. She's just too little to play with you now. It's not easy being a big brother, is it? But now that you are a big brother, you can protect Rosie since she's so small. Say, would you like to help me? I can't do this by myself. Caillou, would you pass me the diaper, please? P. So, you've been feeling a bit left out of things, too, have you, Gilbert? All changed? Yes, I helped Daddy. Would you like to hold her, Caillou? Yes, please, Mommy. Watch her head. <coughs> what is it, Caillou? Rosie smells good. Come on, it's story time, kids. Now, let's see. 
This story happened when Caillou was only three, and Rosie was just a baby. Today's story is called Caillou Goes Shopping. Caillou, time to get up. It's snowing outside, look. Yay! I want to make a snowman. <laughs> Let's get you dressed first. Now, where are your sweaters? But I want to wear these. <laughs> if you wear shorts outside, you'll feel as cold as a snowman. There's no more cereal. We'll get some when we go shopping. And we need some eggs, too, because I'm making a special surprise cake. Special surprise cake? Yay! Caillou and Rosie <laughs> always like Mommy's special surprise cakes, but they never knew exactly what the surprise would be. Caillou, it's time to go to the store. Put on your coat and boots. But, Mommy, I want to play with my dinosaur. You can play with him later. Now, come on, we're waiting for you. Caillou liked to go shopping, but he always took a long time to get ready because he liked playing, too. Caillou, get in the car, please. Are we going to make a snowman? Well, yes. As a matter of fact, we are. Yay! A snowman! But right now, we have to get going. Mommy, I want to ride like Rosie. <sighs> okay, but let's get going, or there won't be time to make that snowman. I want these. Caillou, we're having a special surprise cake, remember? So we don't need cookies, too, okay? What is the special surprise cake? If I tell you, I'll spoil the surprise. Now, when we get to the checkout, I want you to look after Rosie while I take care of the groceries. All Caillou could think about were those cookies, but he forgot exactly where he'd seen them. Before he knew it, he was all alone, lost, and feeling afraid. Mommy! Mommy! Where are you? Mommy! Caillou, what happened? No, Caillou, you did. But I'm very glad we found you. Let's go home. Caillou was still feeling upset, but he was very happy to see his mommy and Rosie again. I didn't like it when I was lost, Mommy. I didn't like it either, sweetie. So let's make sure you don't get lost again. Now, let's finish making that special surprise cake. But I wanted to make a snowman. We are going to make a snowman. Only we're going to make him right here in the kitchen. The special surprise cake! Yay! Caillou and Rosie were absolutely right. They had guessed what Mommy's surprise was going to be. Mommy, look! He's really a snowman! Grr, then he must be cold. Let's give him a scarf. Kids, I think we have time for a story. Come on! This story happened when Caillou was three. Today's story is called... Caillou in the Bathtub. No! Caillou! It's time for your bath! I'm serious, Caillou. I'm not going to play games with you. Caillou didn't want a bath. Where is he? I wonder where that boy can be. Uh. Where's Caillou? Aha! Uh -huh. There you are. Come on, Caillou. It's bath time. I don't want to take a bath. It's too hot, Mommy. Okay. It's too cold, Mommy. And where do you think you're going, young man? I'm going to play. You can play later. It's bath time now. You have hey, to keep clean. I don't want to be clean. No! Clean's no fun. 
Let's add some bubble bath. No. It certainly couldn't hurt. What do you say to some funny bubbles, Caillou? No. Oh. Give me your hand. Doesn't that look like fun? <laughs> Suddenly, Caillou wanted to have his ducky. And he remembered he'd left him in Rosie's room. Oh, no, not again. Caillou, come back here. My donkey! Donkey makes bubbles. Lots of bubbles. Big bubbles. Maybe this can help you make more. Caillou had discovered that bath time could also be playtime. He discovered how to make bubbles. Look at me. Hey, where's Caillou? Here I am. It's me. Where's my ducky? Don't worry, ducky. I'll save you. Mommy, Daddy, you're all wet. Caillou discovered that bath time could be splash time. Okay, Caillou, time to get dried off. I don't want to. I want to play in the bath. Good. Then you'll want to play in the bath tomorrow, too. Yes, me and Ducky and a lot of bubbles. And that's how Caillou got to love bath time. That's the laundry finished. Time for a treat, kids. It's story time. Now, what did Caillou do today? Ah, yes. Today's story is called Caillou Gets Dressed. Laundry day was a very busy day in Caillou's house. And Caillou was, well, Caillou was busy helping out. Oof! Where's the door? Whoa! Ugh. I can't play with you now, Gilbert. Right, Mommy. Thank you, Caillou. You're getting to be a big boy. Caillou was very proud to help out. It was a good feeling. Whoa. Hey, Mommy! Look at me! Oh. oh! Caillou, maybe you better run along now. Caillou thought if he was big enough to help Mommy do the laundry, he was big enough to get dressed by himself. There was only one problem. He brought all his clothes downstairs, so he had nothing to wear. Uh, no. Caillou! Shh! You'll wake Rosie. Why are you in your underpants? I don't have any clothes. That can't be right. You have tons of clothes. Goodness, you're right. Hmm. I know. We can play a game. You can dress up. I can't wear grown-up clothes, Daddy. Why can't you? I'm too little. We'll see about that. Aha! Here we are. They fit great. If you'd be so kind as to try this on, sir. <laughs> that tickles. Can I have a hat, too? Let me see, let me see. Hang on, it needs something else. Hmm. Every inch a gentleman. My mustache, Daddy. Who says you're too small for grown-up clothes? Yay! <laughs> Caillou, look at you all dressed up. You're so handsome. I want a picture of my two men. Who 
who's ready for a story? Look at all those teddy bears. This story is called Caillou's Teddy Shirt. You sit here, Teddy. Here it comes, Teddy. his eyes. Rosie was wearing his very favorite shirt. <laughs> mommy! Mommy! What is it, Caillou? Rosie is wearing my teddy shirt. It's much too small for you, so I give it to Rosie to wear. It's not too small for me. It's mine. I need this shirt, Rosie. Teddy shirt? I'll get you your nice mousy shirt, Rosie, okay? See? It still fits me. It's perfect. Okay. Caillou. His tummy was itchy from the carpet. And his shirt just wouldn't stay tucked in. Maybe it was too small for him. But then Caillou got an idea. Caillou thought he might be able to tape his shirt. Yucky tape! Caillou was very sad. He knew that his teddy shirt didn't fit him anymore, but he didn't want to give it up. Caillou? There's you wearing your teddy shirt. You look so cute. You were too. That's when I was little. I had my teddy shirt. I'm sorry I didn't ask you before I gave it to Rosie. I forgot how much you used to like it. Caillou still liked it, but he knew he was bigger now, and it didn't fit him anymore. Maybe we could put it away in a special place to keep forever. I'm going to give it to Teddy! Good idea. Teddy, you look beautiful in your new shirt. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy shirt! <laughs> about a story, kids? What's Caillou up to today? This story is called Caillou Goes Around the Block. Caillou loved riding fast on his shiny new bicycle, and he loved his bicycle horn. Hey, that's my cookie. <laughs> Mommy, the squirrel ate my cookie. Mommy, are you asleep? It oh. isn't bedtime yet. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Sarah. Caillou had never gone around the corner all by himself, but he had always wanted to. Hey! <laughs> Caillou had never stood in a sprinkler with his clothes on before. It was fun being out with no one to tell him what to do. another corner. Caillou decided that he would go all the way around the block by himself. Oh, oh. Don't worry. Belle is a nice dog. 
Caillou was scared of the dog. Where are you going? I'm going around the block. I walked all by myself. You're very brave. Go that way and you'll get back to your house. Caillou was starting to feel nervous about being out on his own. What if he got lost? What if he met another big dog? What if a big crow chased him? Hello there. I know you. You're Caillou. I've seen you with your mommy and daddy. Caillou had seen this lady with his mommy many times. Are you out here all by yourself? Look what I've got here. Would you like to hold it? It tickles! Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. I think it's time for you to fly away home too, Caillou. But first, let me get you something. Bye-bye, mm, ladybug. Thank you. The lady was nice. Caillou was glad to be walking home holding her hand. Hi, Mommy. I'm home. Where did this come from? A lady gave it to me over there. Ah, yes, I know who you mean. But what were you doing over there? While you were sleeping, I went all the way around the block. You did? And I saw a rainbow and a hopscotch and a big dog and a very scary crow. Weren't you scared? A little bit. I think you better wait till you're a big boy before you go around the block again. Now, where are those children hiding? It's story time! Now, let's see. What did Caillou do today? <laughs> well, today's story is called Caillou's Hiding Place. It all started when Caillou's mommy and daddy went away for a few days. Caillou and Rosie were staying with his grandma and grandpa. Caillou, where are you? Are you in here? I can't see him anywhere. Maybe he's hiding. Look again. Huh? <laughs> well, now, what have we here? It looks a bit like Caillou. Grandpa, Grandpa! What are you doing in there? I can just move this box and, and grab hold of this thing. And now, if I can get hold of this thing. Look! Grandpa! What on earth were you doing in there, Caillou? Hiding in a hiding place? Hiding in a hiding place, eh? That reminds me of something. Caillou wondered what Grandpa was going to tell him. Can you keep a secret, Caillou? Yes, Grandpa. Well, I know where there's a special hiding place. In the garden. Would you like to see it? I'm sure this is the right tree. Well, if it wasn't on the other side, it must be on this side. Go on, then. Have a look. Well, how is it? It's the best special hiding place in the world, Grandpa. Thank you, Grandpa. Why don't you keep the flashlight? Wow! Can I? Time to sleep, Caillou. I'll be there in a minute. This was Caillou's special <laughs> hiding place. He didn't want anyone else to know about it. Wow! Caillou, are you in there? You better come in the house. Your daddy will be here to pick you up soon. Well, well, well. I just don't believe it. What is it? Well, believe it or not, Caillou, that's a toy that belonged to me when I was a little boy, just like you. And when I was a daddy, just like your daddy. You must have found it in my special hiding place. But it's your special hiding place now. Yay! 
everyone's gone home. It's birthday story time, kids. Now, what did Caillou do on his birthday? Today's story is called Caillou's Birthday Present. It was Caillou's birthday and his mommy was making his birthday cake. I don't suppose you want to help me clean the bowl, do you? Yes, please, Mommy. <laughs> I thought you might. Birthday cake! I want some, I want some, I want some. <laughs> Come on, Caillou. You really should let Rosie have a little of that frosting. Daddy! I thought you said Caillou should let Rosie have some frosting. <laughs> oh, Daddy! Daddy. Caillou had told everyone he wanted a special dinosaur as a birthday present. But Grandma's gift wasn't a dinosaur. It was a sweater. Do you like it, Caillou? Of course he does. Oh, my. They're here already. Yay! Leo, Clementine! Come on in, you two. Now, just hold still a little longer, Caillou. I've almost finished. <laughs> it feels funny, Daddy. Meow. Birthday. Are you going to blow out the candles, Caillou? Make a wish, Caillou. You're supposed to make a wish. He knew just what to wish for. He wanted a special dinosaur. Caillou was so full, he just couldn't eat any more birthday cake. Happy birthday, Caillou. Just a little while later, everyone found room for some ice cream sundae. Rosie, look what you did. <laughs> Here's a clean sweater, dear. Wow! It's another special dinosaur. Caillou certainly had his special dinosaur now. In fact, he had two special dinosaurs. Oh, wow! This is my best birthday. Grandma, come read us a story. A story about Caillou. I wonder what Caillou did today. This story is called Caillou and Gilbert. Look, Gilbert. This is a picture of a cat. I'm tired of coloring. I want to play with someone. Rosie! Caillou wanted to play with someone, but he knew he wasn't supposed to wake up Rosie when she was taking her nap. Caillou! Shh! You know better than that, Caillou. But I need someone to play with, Daddy. Sorry, Caillou. We can't play with you now. You can play with Rosie later. Hmm. Caillou didn't want to play with someone later. He wanted to play with someone right now. Do you want to play with me, Gilbert? <laughs> Caillou suddenly thought of another game they could play. I'll be right back. Caillou knew that Gilbert would not like a story about a doll, but 
he thought Gilbert would love a mouse story. And a story with birds. Look, Gilbert. It's story time, Gilbert. This is a story about a mouse named Mousie. One day, Mousie... Uh, Mousie had a friend named Meesey, and one day Meesey and Mousie... Gilbert, look at the cute mouse! Gilbert, look here! Hmm. I know what we can play. Hold still. Daddy will take you for a nice ride. Here, take that corner. Gilbert! Ah. Gilbert and I are playing dress up. I'm the daddy. Caillou, dress up is a people game. A people game? Uh, you know how you don't like to play baby games? That's because you're not a baby, right? Yes. Well, Gilbert's a kitty cat, not a person. So he likes playing kitty cat games. Do you know what games he likes best? Yes! You like cat games, don't you, Gilbert? <coughs> Meow. <coughs> Get it, Gilbert? Meow. <coughs> We're kitty cats playing a game together. Meow. <coughs> what nice kitty cats we have. <coughs> Storytime, kids. Oh, you're going to like this one. It's all about the time Caillou got covered with paint. It's called Caillou's Colors. Caillou was spending the day at his grandma's loft. He usually found lots of fun things to do there. But today was different. Caillou was in a bad mood, and he didn't feel like doing anything. Bored. He didn't know what to do. <sighs> Yoo hoo, Caillou. Uh oh. Surprise. It seemed as if nothing would cheer <sighs> Caillou up. You must have got out of the wrong side of the bed today, Caillou. What does that mean? It means that some days you wake up feeling grumpy and don't know why. I'm not grumpy. Hmm. Well, I'm glad to hear that. We're going to have an apple pie for snack time. I have to go and check on it. I'm not hungry. I don't want apple pie. We'll see about that. Caillou was very grumpy. What was he to do? Caillou's grandma always let him use her paints. And Caillou always enjoyed painting. Caillou liked his blue picture. And then he decided to use some of grandma's other colors. Caillou, the pie's ready. Caillou, where are you? Here I am. Goodness, Caillou, just look at your hands. <laughs> I'm finger painting. And look at your wonderful painting. Oh, but you'll have to wash up if you want some pie. You do want some pie, don't you? Yes. Was it good, dear? Caillou. Hi, sweetie. Did you have a nice day with Grandma? 
Caillou was very grumpy at first, but then he did this lovely painting. And now he isn't grumpy anymore. I don't want to go home. But you can always come back another day. That's right. Anytime you get out of the wrong side of the bed and you're feeling grumpy, you come and see Grandma. I want to be grumpy again. Hi, you two. It's story time. Now, let's see. What did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou's Big Friend. Caillou, this is Andre. His mommy and I have been friends since we were little. Caillou didn't think Andre was little at all. In fact, Andre seemed very big. You're already a big boy, Andre. How old are you? I'm six. Now, why don't you play with Andre while we talk? Come on, let's build a castle. Do you have any games we could play? I know. Let's play catch. Not inside. Catch. Uh, you broke my castle. No, I didn't. You knocked it over. You're not allowed to play ball in the house. Well, let's play something else then. Let's play hide and seek. Okay, I'll go hide. Okay, I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here I come. Here I come. Caillou, where are you? Caillou, where are you? Caillou couldn't resist that barefoot. He had to tickle it. Yeah! Oops, I found you. That's not fair. I tripped. Yes, it is fair. Well, you're it, Caillou. Let's play something else. Well, okay. Do you have any toys in your room? Andre was upsetting Caillou. Wait for me! I'll get my robot! Andre, I got my robot! What was that? <laughs> you broke my chair! Andre, are you hurt? <laughs> he broke my special chair! He's not my friend anymore! <laughs> Andre, I'm so sorry. Let me get a little bandage for that cut. It's okay. <laughs> Caillou was very angry with Andre. But when he saw the cut, he felt sorry for him. Is Andre hurt, Mommy? I'm sure he's going to be all right, honey. I didn't mean to break Caillou's chair. It was an accident. Why don't you two play soccer outside for a little while? But the soccer ball is stuck in the tree. I can reach it. Hey, watch this. <laughs> Wait up. Look, kick it like this. Got it. Caillou was having fun playing with Andre now. For a story? Come and sit by the fire. It's nice and cozy. Let's start. Tonight's story is called Caillou Snowman. <laughs> Got one. Me too. <laughs> Let's make a snowman. A snowman? Wow. Do you want to help me? Caillou thought that was a great idea even though he didn't know exactly how to make a snowman. Yes! Why don't you start making the head? I'll make his body. Okay. Gonna make a snowman, gonna make a snowman. Hmm, I can do that. Hey! Oof. I can't do it. I hate making the snowman. How's the head coming along, Caillou? Hmm. I can't make it. You can't? Don't worry, I'll show you how. We're going to make the biggest snowman in the world. The biggest snowman in the world? In the universe. <laughs> I think that 
snowball is big enough, let's make new ones. <laughs> oh. First, you have to make a tiny snowball. See? Caillou liked having Sarah to show him what to do. Oh. A snowball! You did it! Hey! <laughs> stop! But Caillou wouldn't stop. Sarah didn't think the game was funny anymore. Fine. If you don't want to make a snowman, I'm leaving. No, stay, please. I want to make a snowman with you. Now look, it's easy. I'm finished. All right, let's put our snowman together. We have to put it on top of this one. Are you ready? <sighs> I think it will hold. Now we need a head. That's your snowball. Okay. Hi, kids. I have a surprise for you. Look in the bag. A carrot? We can use it to make the snowman's nose. Wow. <laughs> the bag was full of great surprises. And very soon, the snowman had a big smile on his face. Hmm, I have something else. Let's see if it fits. Look, Sarah, he's beautiful. And he's the biggest snowman in the universe. Wonderful. Now, how about coming inside for a snack? Wait! What's this? It's a snowball. No, it's a snack for the snowman. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like to hear about Caillou and a very special friend today? Today's story is called Caillou's Special Friend. Whee! Yay! Caillou was playing with his special friend George. Caillou's friend George was a very special friend. We could play dinosaurs. Only Caillou knew George and nobody had ever seen him. Caillou suddenly had a wonderful idea. Yeah, let's have a race. Look, Mommy, look, Grandma. I'm having a race with my friend. I'm hungry. Why don't you go and tell Caillou it's lunchtime, okay, Rosie? Okay, Grandma. <laughs> As Caillou tried to hide the mess, he decided it was all George's fault that the flower pot was broken. Caillou! 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 Lunch time! Coming! George runs really fast, you know, but I beat him in a race. Where does George live, Caillou? I don't know exactly where he lives. Caillou? But I think he lives in our basement. George is probably my Bestest friend in the whole world, you know. Caillou, look. We finished eating and you've been talking so much you haven't even touched your food. Sorry, Mommy. Maybe George had better go outside while you finish eating, okay? Okay, Mommy. Thank you, George. Caillou will be out soon. See you later, George. Hi, Caillou. Can you come here for a moment? Do you know anything about this? Uh, uh, George did it, Daddy. Are you sure George did this? Caillou's daddy knew that it wasn't really George who broke the flower pot. Yes, Daddy. We had a race and George knocked it down. Hmm, well, I think you might have had something to do with it, too. Don't you, Caillou? Yes, Daddy. I'll tell you what. Why don't you help me clean up this mess? And the next time you play with George, I think you both should be a bit more careful, okay? Caillou thought it was a very good idea. Okay. Good. You just hold the dustpan steady, and I'll use the brush. George is very clumsy, isn't he, Daddy? 
A bit like you, huh? I really like it when you push me on the swing. And I really like pushing you, Caillou. <laughs> How about a story, kids? Yay! This story is called Caillou is scared of dogs. I'm going to build the biggest castle ever. Done! Oh. <coughs> Caillou was scared. The dog sounded angry. Mommy! <coughs> Mommy! Mommy! Caillou, what's the matter? That doggy scared me! The next day, Caillou was looking forward to going to his grandma's while Mommy did some shopping. But Caillou and his mommy didn't know that Grandma was looking after her neighbor's puppy for the day. I have a special friend staying with me. Would you like to meet him? Yes, please. <laughs> Caillou? Don't worry, Caillou. That's my special friend. I really think he'd like to meet you. No! But Caillou, he's only a little puppy. Why don't you just come and see? I promise he won't hurt you. Well, okay. See, Caillou? He's only a little puppy, and he's very friendly. Yes, Grandma? Well, if you're scared, why don't we shut the door so he can't get out, okay? Okay. Caillou was still a bit nervous, even though he knew the puppy was safely in the kitchen. Ah! Oh, honey, it's okay. Hey, I have an idea. Let's read a book about dogs. Caillou was enjoying reading about dogs with Grandma, and he was beginning to be curious about that little puppy in the kitchen. He's barking, Grandma. We'd better go see what he wants, don't you think? Maybe he's hungry. Who's a good boy, then? Are you hungry? Here's a treat. Mm, you like that, don't you? Caillou was still a bit nervous. But when he heard his grandma, he decided he really wanted to see the little puppy again. <laughs> What's so funny, Caillou? <laughs> he looks like one of Mommy's slippers. <laughs> see, Caillou? He wants to be your friend. He's wagging his tail. It means he's happy to see you. If you hold out your hand, he'll say hello. <laughs> that tickles! I think you've made a new friend, Caillou. <laughs> Hi, doggy. What do you know? The puppy wasn't scary at all, but friendly and fuzzy and fun. Get it, boy! <laughs> Good boy. Catch! <laughs> <laughs> Shh, look. Look, Mommy, I like doggies now. <coughs> Grandma, read us a story about Caillou. Let's see now. This story happened when Caillou was only three. It's called Caillou's Summer Goodnight. When is she coming? She'll be here any minute. Come in, Grandma. I can't fit. Oof. Grandma. Grandma was Caillou and Rosie's favorite babysitter in the whole world. Hi, kids. What have you got there, Rosie? <laughs> After Mommy and Daddy left, Grandma played games with Caillou and Rosie. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was bedtime. While Grandma read Rosie a story and put her to sleep, Caillou washed his face and brushed his teeth. 
Then he went to bed and waited for Grandma to come and read him a story. Grandma! <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a... While Grandma was reading the story, Caillou got sleepier and sleepier. Night, night. Gilbert, ow! <sighs> Caillou was wide awake again, and he couldn't get back to sleep no matter what he did. He tried rearranging his pillow. But that didn't help. It was summer, and it was still daylight outside. How could Caillou sleep when his room was so bright? Oof. Sleeping the wrong way around didn't work. Caillou really couldn't sleep, and now he was feeling quite cranky. Caillou, you're all mixed up. Your head is where your feet should be. Mm, Grandma, I can't sleep. Well, I'm not surprised. It's too bright in here. And I can see why. You don't have any curtains. Where are they? Oh, yes, I remember. Your mommy took them to the cleaners. I have an idea. Caillou was very curious about Grandma's idea. There you are, Caillou. A night sky. Now you'll be able to sleep. Thank you, Grandma. But if it's a night sky, I think something's missing. Don't you? Ready, Caillou? Wow! Caillou's night sky was so beautiful and dreamy that he fell asleep very quickly. It's story time, kids. Now, I wonder what Caillou did today. Today's story is called Caillou is a Clown. Guess what, Rosie? We're going to a parade. 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 We're going to see horses, drummers, and clowns. I love clowns. No clowns, no. Hey, Rosie. Yay, we're going to the parade. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, Caillou, I don't know about this. What's the matter, Mommy? I don't know if it's such a good idea to go to the parade. Why not, Mommy? I want to go to the parade. There'll be clowns, Caillou, and you know Rosie's really afraid of clowns. No, she isn't. Not anymore. I want to go. Caillou was miserable and angry. It wasn't fair. Why can't we go just because Rosie's a silly baby? Remember, Caillou, you used to be afraid of clowns, too, when you were little like Rosie. Well, what are we going to do now? Then Caillou had an idea. See, Rosie? It's not scary. Oh, uh, Rosie, do me a doll. I know, Mommy. I'll cover her eyes when the clowns come by. Come on, Caillou. Let's go up to your room. Why? I have an idea. Maybe we can go to the parade. But I need your help. Caillou just couldn't imagine what Mommy's idea could be. Let's see. These'll do. Let's show Rosie that clowns aren't scary, because they're only people wearing clown clothes. Okay. Look, Rosie. <laughs> peek! Peek! Look! Here! <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, you're a clown. <laughs> Beep! 
So now Rosie wasn't scared of clowns anymore. Rosie, look. Okay, kids, I guess we can go to the parade now. Yay! Hold still, Rosie. <laughs> Are my two clowns ready to go? Yes! Let's go! Story time, kids! Let's see now. Today's story is called Caillou's New Shoes. Tying your laces, Caillou? No, my shoes hurt. Honey, your feet have grown. They're too big for these shoes. You need a new pair. Here, these will do for now. Put them on and we'll go to the shoe store right away. Now Caillou loved to splash in rain puddles with his boots, but today it was sunny. And he wanted to run. Hi, Sarah. Oh, hi, Caillou. Where are you going? To buy a new pair of shoes. We'll have to have a race when you get them. Bye. Bye, Sarah. I want shoes to run fast like Sarah. Come on, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou liked looking at all the different kinds of shoes and boots. There were all kinds of sandals. And lady shoes. Hmm. And even work boots. Whoa. Uh oh. Oops. Wow. These look fast. Hmm. Which color do you like best, Caillou? Um... Caillou just couldn't make up his mind which color he liked best. Well now, before we decide on the color, maybe we'd better measure your feet. Now let's see, you are a size... a size seven. Mommy, Mommy, I'm a size seven! My, your feet have been growing, Caillou. Now, do you want the blue ones or the yellow ones? I want the... How about the green ones? Green? Yay! We'll just put your boots in the shoe box so you can take them back home. Your new shoes are very nice, Caillou. And so are my new shoes. But you have to measure your feet first. <laughs> My feet stopped growing a long time ago. Race me, Sarah. You're going too fast for me. Race me, race me. Come on, kids. It's story time. When Caillou was just a little boy of three, he went to the ocean for the first time. Today's story is called Caillou at the Beach. Caillou's family was on vacation. It was his first trip to the ocean and the beach. The beach, the sea, we're off to see the sea. Caillou, Rosie, do you hear that? What is it? That's the sound of the ocean. We're here. Caillou was so excited he couldn't wait to get to the beach. Mommy, the ocean! Yes, and look, Caillou, the sun. And that means sunscreen. Yucky. No! No, it tickles! Bye-bye! Oh. <laughs> there, that should do it. Hmm. This 
This is a nice spot. Who wants to go in the water? I do, I do! Caillou hadn't had swimming lessons yet, so he held his daddy's hand tightly as they ran into the... It's cold! Oh, it's all right once you get used to it. <laughs> Caillou loved any kind of picnic, but a picnic on the beach was best of all. Caillou's sandwich had sand in it. Look, Mommy! Hmm. Well... Hey, that's my sandwich! <laughs> Hello! Caillou followed that strange little crab hey. that lived in a shell. All the way to a tidal pool full of creatures from the sea. There were starfish, and seahorses, and sea urchins. Ouch! <gasps> Who wants to help me build a sandcastle? I do, I do! Go away! Look, Rosie, like this, and like this. When the tide comes in, it's time for us to go. My castle! Well, we'll have to come back tomorrow and build another castle. And we'll come back the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. Know what time it is? It's time for a Caillou story. Well, now, let's see what Caillou did today. I think he met some animals. Today's story is called, Caillou Goes to the Zoo. Hi, welcome to the zoo. My name's Zoe. Are we going to see lots of animals? Oh, yes, and we're very excited because lots of our animal families have new babies. Would you like to see some baby wolves? Baby wolves? Really? Wow. See the baby wolves? Those are their noses. Why don't they come out? I want to see them. They were just born the other day, so they want to stay with their mommy. Oh, I wanted to see them. You know, Caillou, they'll stay with their families all their lives. Do all the baby animals stay with their mommies and daddies? Oh, no. Most animals leave their families when they're big enough. Would you like to see another animal family? Yes, please. Caillou liked the idea of animals having families. Where are they? Where are they? They must be in their house, Caillou. I'm afraid we might not see them today. Although, I think we might be lucky after all. Wow! He's so big! The rhino's as big as a dinosaur! Rhino Dino! Rhino Dino! You know what, Caillou? That rhino is not a he. She is a she. And she has a baby. Really? A baby rhino? Of course, Caillou. Even really big animals have babies. Look, look! It's the baby rhino! He's not very cuddly, but I think he's cute as a button. Yay! A sea otter! It's a sea otter! They're my favorite! That little guy came to us when he was just a baby, Caillou. Does he have a family, too? I'm afraid not. You see, his mommy died. His mommy died? Will he be all right? He'll be fine. But you know, because he didn't have his mommy to show him what to do, we've had to teach him everything. <laughs> Even how to swim and how to feed himself. It was the first time Caillou had seen a real sea otter. I wish we could take him home with us. Oh, you can't do that. He's almost ready to go back to the ocean. <laughs> What's so funny, 
Caillou. That chimpanzee looks like Grandpa. <laughs> You're right. He does look like Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That little guy looks a bit like you, Caillou. He's coming to say hello. It's getting cold outside. I'm glad we're in here for our story time. Now, let's see what Caillou did today. Today's story is called Caillou Rakes the Leaves. <laughs> Caillou and Rosie were having so much fun, they didn't even notice that their mommy and daddy were watching them. Caillou, Rosie. Well, it looks like you two are having fun. Daddy, Mommy, come play with us. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, you blew the leaf. Show me a red leaf, Rosie. Yes, good for you. Here's a yellow one, Mommy, and another red one. Thank you, Caillou. And thank you, Rosie. Caillou loved spending all day with his family, <laughs> having fun in the leaves. <laughs> I think it's time to go inside and make supper. Come along, you two. I'll stay and rake the leaves. Caillou was enjoying himself so much, he didn't want the fun to stop. He wanted this special day to last forever. Can I stay and help Daddy rake the leaves? Sure. I think that's a great idea. All right! There's an awful lot of leaves, Caillou. Do you think we can rake them all? Yes. Making the leaves, Daddy. Oh, well, it's rather hard work, but it's fun when we do it together. Caillou liked helping his daddy, but he also liked playing. He imagined that the piles of leaves were big houses in the city. I want to live in this one. Caillou was having so much fun pretending that the leaf piles were big houses, he didn't even notice that it was almost dark. Daddy, come see my house. Wow, that's a great house. Did you make it all by yourself? Yes. Come on in, you two. Supper's ready. Daddy, I had a fun day. So did I. I like it when I have my whole family around me. Me too. Did you finish raking the leaves? Yes, and there were lots and lots of them. I made a city too. Caillou helped me a lot, didn't you? Hey, what's that on your head? <gasps> All ready for your bedtime story? Let's see what Caillou's up to tonight. It looks like he's going camping. You have to catch me first. Hey. <laughs> Hi, guys. That looks like fun. Why don't you come and join us in the garden? Okay, Daddy. Give me a pussy. Give me a pussy. Oh, that reminds me of the time I took your daddy camping when he was a little boy. Camping with my daddy? Oh, you bet. We saw a big raccoon. <laughs> we went swimming in a waterfall. I want to go camping with you. A camping trip takes planning, Caillou. Well, it does sound like fun. And it needn't take a lot of planning. Do you still have that tent? 
because I think I know just the spot. Hey! Hey, Caillou, where'd you go? Here I am, Grandpa. This time, you go inside while I hold the front up. Now, you see that pole in the back? A pole? I'd better show you. <laughs> Look, Grandpa, bugs. Oh, someone else has seen them, too. Come and see. Grandpa, I saw a nest and it had baby birds. Well, we'd better get that tent set up or we'll be sleeping in the trees tonight, too. And not too close now. <sighs> they look perfect. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> You look like a chipmunk. <laughs> Camping with Grandpa was going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> look at all the stars, Grandpa. Oh, it's getting late. I'll get the sleeping bags ready. Grandpa, what are those lights in the bushes? Those aren't lights, Caillou. They're fireflies. Oh, let's see if we can catch one. I did it, Grandpa. I caught one. <gasps> <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> Grandpa? All these noises were making Caillou nervous. But Grandpa found a solution. Are you two campers awake yet? Breakfast is ready. Good morning. What happened? Did it get too cold last night? Oh, it got too noisy, so we decided to go camping inside the house. I was camping with Grandpa. Next time we go camping, we'll tell all the animals and birds to be quiet. <laughs> Just look at Caillou. He's all dressed up. Let's see what's going on. This story is called Caillou's New Babysitter. Caillou's mommy and daddy were going out for a special dinner. With you. Caillou, it's our anniversary. That's a special day for Mommy and Daddy. But we have something special for you and Rosie, too. A brand new babysitter. Isn't that nice? I don't want a new babysitter. That must be Julie now. I'll go and let her in. I don't like Julie. Julie was a new babysitter. Caillou wanted his regular babysitter. So he made up his mind he wasn't going to like Julie at all. Hi, Caillou. I'm Julie. Just press this button. Bye-bye! Doesn't your mommy look pretty in her dress? And doesn't your daddy look smart in his tuxedo? Let's wave goodbye. Later that evening, it was supper time. I don't want any supper. I don't want any supper, too. Caillou, you have to eat your supper. You can't make me. I have an idea. Your mommy and daddy are going out for a special anniversary supper. So why don't we do the same? Mmm. Even though Caillou had decided he wouldn't like Julie, he was curious mm. about this idea. Come on, then. What are we waiting for? Now you look just as handsome as your daddy. Do I really? You bet. Caillou discovered he was starting to like Julie. Now let's go and make Rosie look as nice as your mommy. Gilbert! Hold it! <laughs> Caillou liked Julie's dressing up game, but he still didn't care very much for salad. Come on, Caillou, you have to eat. I don't want any supper. I don't want any supper, too. <laughs> Hmm. Well, if you don't want supper, why don't we have breakfast instead? Huh? Hmm. How can we have breakfast? It's supper time. It's easy. From now on, everything's going to be the opposite way around. You'll see. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Caillou. Hi, Julie. Did you all have as much fun as we did? We had breakfast. 
breakfast. Really? But what about your supper? I thought they could have their supper tomorrow, if that's all right. I'm sure that'll be fine, Julie. And now, if you're ready, I'll take you home. No, Daddy, no. Caillou had been having so much fun with his new babysitter. He didn't want her to leave. Don't worry, Caillou. I promise I'll come back and see you very soon. This is the story of when Caillou learned to skate. It happened on a winter day, just like today. Ever since Caillou watched a hockey game with his mommy and daddy, he wanted to skate. So his daddy made a skating rink in the backyard and bought him his first pair of skates. He shoots, he scores! I want to be a hockey player. <laughs> Good, but first we need to learn to skate. I can skate fastest in the world. <laughs> Look, Mommy, he fell down. Hmm, so I'll be skating with the world champion. That's great. <laughs> See? Soon you'll be able to skate like this. Okay, now the first thing you have to learn is how to stand. Caillou discovered that skating wasn't as easy as he thought it would be. This should help until you get the hang of it. And now you're ready to skate. Whoa. I don't want to skate anymore. It's too hard. I know it isn't easy, but I'm very proud of you for trying. Let's do it again. Caillou was tired of falling and falling, but he did feel like trying one more time with his daddy. I want to try again. Good for you. Oh. You're doing great, Caillou. Oh, no. Look, Daddy. I can do it. <laughs> Yay! Look at me! Whoa. Whoa! Are you all right, Caillou? You're skating! You're really skating! Look, Mommy! I'm skating! Who wants some hot chocolate? After falling a lot, Caillou was finally getting the hang of it. Except... Oh. Mommy! Daddy! Yes, dear? <laughs> I guess your next lesson will be how to turn. And then we'll have to think about getting you a hockey stick. A hockey stick? Wow! Look, Caillou's a mailman. And that's perfect for today's story time, because today's story is called Caillou mails a letter. <laughs> Are you having fun, dear? Yes, Mommy. What a wonderful sunny day. I'm going to draw the sun. I think the mail's arrived. I wonder if there's any nice letters today. Bills. Nothing but bills. It sure would be nice to get a letter for a change. Hi, Caillou. Is anything the matter? Mommy wants to get a letter. Does she now? Caillou explained how Mommy didn't like bills and wanted to get a letter. Well, why don't we send her one? In fact, I think you've already made one. Yes, look. That would make a wonderful letter. Can we send it to Mommy? 
Absolutely. We'll make sure the mailman brings it tomorrow morning. Caillou knew that people sometimes put kisses on letters with an X. A kiss? That's great. Now what we need is an envelope. I know where they are, Daddy. I'll be right back. How about a stamp? Yes! Oh, Gilbert! Caillou, where are you? <gasps> now, what are you two up to? Nothing. Nothing at all. Isn't that right, Caillou? <laughs> That's right, Mommy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> If we want Mommy to get her letter in the morning, we'll have to have everything finished tonight. And we have to get up extra early in the morning. Yes. Yuck! Now, what else do we need to do? We need to stick on the stamp. That's right. The next morning, Caillou and his daddy got up extra early so they could meet the mailman. Mommy, Mommy, the mailman's coming! Mommy, I think you have a letter today. Well, this letter looks interesting. Caillou, what a wonderful surprise. And you even got Gilbert to sign it. Thank you, Caillou. I'll keep my letter forever. Forever? Mm -hmm. Wow. It's the nicest letter I ever got. Bath time or story time? You decide. Story time! Story time! Story time. Alright. Story time first. Then bath time. Now, let's see what was Caillou up to today. This story is called Caillou Learns to Swim. <laughs> Caillou, I'm right here. Oh. Are you coming in, Caillou? Shiny, Daddy. Look. <laughs> oh. Look, Daddy. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you'll come in the big pool with me next time. Okay. Remember the pool today? Would you like Daddy to teach you how to swim? Yes! A couple of days later, Caillou had his first lesson. He liked learning to swim. And after just a few lessons, he was getting better and better. I can do it this time, Daddy. I know you can, Caillou. I was swimming, Daddy! <laughs> I was swimming! Caillou wanted to swim and dive, just like the big boys and girls. Do you want to go back in the water? I want to swim all by myself. Hmm. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Yay! I can swim now, Daddy! That's it. Hold your arms out, just like I showed you. Caillou walked on the bottom of the pool, and very soon, he was swimming all by himself. That's it, Caillou. I'm swimming! I'm swimming! Can you see, Daddy? Yes, I'm right here. You can do it! Look at me! I'm swimming! Suddenly, Caillou was afraid. Caillou? Caillou? Come this way. 
But his daddy was right there by his side. Take it easy, Caillou. Swim to me, just like we did before. That was a bit scary, wasn't it? But you knew I was there, didn't you? Yes, Daddy. You know what? You really were swimming, all by yourself. I was, wasn't I? I'm very proud of you. Story time, kids! What's the story today, Grandma? Well, let's find out. What's Caillou up to now? Today's story is called Caillou's Rainy Day. We are going to run a few errands together. With all that rain outside, we have to dress up to keep dry. Uh-huh. We can jump in all the puddles. Uh-oh, this feels funny. Here, let me help you. It's okay, I want to do it. Oof. I did it! Great! Need some help with your buttons? Let's go. But Caillou had forgotten something very important. Mommy? Yes, dear? I have to go to the bathroom. <sighs> I'll wait for you here. Caillou rushed off to the bathroom. On his way there, something caught his attention. You, watch out! Caillou? Caillou? Caillou! Daddy! What are you doing here? I, I was, um, going to the bathroom. Oh no, I've got to go now. I really have to go. Hooray! Daddy, look, an airplane. May I see your airplane, please? Let's land your airplane back in the airport, okay? It'll still be here when you come back. And have you forgotten about Mommy? Mommy! I forgot! Did Mommy wait for me? Caillou came back quickly to meet his Mommy. But when he got there, she was putting away the raincoats. Mommy, I'm here! Aren't we going anymore? Oh no, we're still going. But look! The sun was shining, so Caillou and his Mommy didn't need raincoats. But there were still plenty of puddles. This one first. And this one goes in here. Mommy! I think you forgot something. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Puddles! Look, Mommy! I know they're fun, but we have to run errands now. Um... You know what we can do, though? We can leave tracks on our way to the store. Look! of when Caillou went to the park with his grandpa and he met a boy he didn't like. Or at least, Caillou thought he didn't like him. Caillou loved going to the park and sometimes he got to make new friends. Okay, Caillou, you're on. Another one. Well, hello there. And what's your name, young man? Jim. Well, Jim, this is Caillou. Would you like to play with Caillou, Jim? I think that sounds like a great idea. 
Now, if you need us, we'll be on that bench right over there. I'm making a tower. I want to make the tower. That's mine. You broke the tower. <laughs> no, you did. I can make a new one. <gasps> he knocked it all down. Maybe it was an accident, Caillou. Jim's sorry, Caillou. Aren't you, Jim? But I fixed it. And you sure did a good job. Now, why don't you two play nicely together, okay? Okay. I don't want to play that anymore. I'm going on the swings. Wait for me. Push me. No, I don't want to. You push me first. I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> Caillou didn't like Jim because he always had to get his own way. Caillou, what's wrong? He doesn't want to play with me. <laughs> he always wants to be first. Now, Jim, you know you have to take turns when you play. Did you forget? I know. Do you want to be my friend again? So Jim and Caillou took turns with the pail. <laughs> then they took turns pushing each other on the swings. And by the end of the day, they were having so much fun playing together. Grandpa probably thought they'd never go home. Okay, kids, time to go. Just a few more times, Grandpa, please. <laughs> Are you ready for story time? Yes, we are. Now, let's see what Caillou did today. Today's story is called Caillou and Daddy. Bye-bye, Mommy. Bye, sweetie. Now, don't get into any trouble, you two. Bye-bye. Caillou's mommy and sister Rosie were going out for the day. That meant Caillou would be spending the whole day with his daddy. That's what I like, a good strong cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. That's what I like too. Do you remember our secret plan? Caillou was helping daddy make a special surprise for his mommy. Mommy's going to like her surprise bookshelf? Oh, yes, Daddy. <gasps> <laughs> Caillou loved spending time with his daddy like this. Just the two of them together. Now, this should dry very quickly so we can... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is it, Daddy? Well, in the first place, you're covered with paint. <laughs> so are you. Hmm, yes, you're right. And in the second place, I forgot to buy the blue paint that goes on top of this undercoat. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take care of business. That's what we're going to do. Yay! <laughs> There you go. Are you ready? Yes. Then let's go and take care of business. Hmm. 
Which color do you think Mommy would like? This one. Let's take it. Are we taking care of business, Daddy? You bet we are. Caillou and his daddy decided to have a hot dog for lunch. Hello! We're home! Caillou! Caillou! It's dry, Daddy. What on earth have you two been up to? We've been taking care of business, Mommy. Look! Oh, a bookshelf. It's just what I wanted. But wait a minute. It looks like I have a new book, too. I made it, Mommy. Come on, kids. It's time for another Caillou story. Now, let's see what Caillou's up to. Oh, yes. Today's story is called Caillou Grows Carrots. Caillou, why don't you go out to the backyard? Somebody's waiting for you. Caillou was very curious to know who it could be. Grandpa! Hey! What are you doing? I'm making a vegetable patch for your mommy. Would you like to help me? Yeah! Just wait and see, Caillou. We're gonna grow all sorts of vegetables. Caillou didn't really like vegetables, but he liked the idea of making a vegetable patch. I'm giving you a special mission. Would you like to grow the carrots? Yeah, okay. Here are the seeds for your carrots. Where are the carrots? Well, you have to plant the seeds in the ground and give them lots and lots of water. Then they'll grow into carrots. Caillou's grandpa marked out a square in the vegetable patch where Caillou could plant his seeds exactly like Grandpa showed him. Yay! <laughs> Grandpa, it isn't working. There aren't any carrots. Oh, you have to be patient. It might take all summer for the carrots to grow. All summer? I finished my carrot. Good. Now I'll glue the ice cream stick to the cardboard. With his sign in the ground, Caillou wouldn't forget where his carrots were growing. Caillou went to the vegetable patch every day to see how his carrots were coming along. Hmm. And after a few weeks... wondering if his carrots would ever come out. It was taking too much time. But a few weeks later... Hello, Caillou. I just went by the vegetable patch, and you know what? I think your carrots are ready now. Really? My carrots? I want to see them. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, leaves again. No carrots, just leaves. Oh, don't be so sure. Just grab some leaves and pull. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, a carrot! Enjoy your meal, everyone. I grew the carrots by myself. That's wonderful. Congratulations, Caillou. And look at Rosie. She seems to like your carrots a lot. Although Caillou still didn't like vegetables, he thought his carrots tasted pretty good. Are you two ready for an exciting ride? It's story time! So let's see what Caillou did today. Oh yes, today's story is called Caillou Goes to a Theme Park. Are we there yet, Daddy? Are we there yet, Daddy? Almost. Are we there yet? We're here. Caillou was very excited because this was the first time he'd ever been to a theme park, and he wanted to go on the rides with his daddy. Wow! The first one he chose was called the Niagara Falls River Ride. Stand next to the board, Caillou. What is it? You can only go on the ride if you're tall enough. Yay! 
Do you like it? Yes, it's fun. <laughs> it's a bit scary too, isn't it? Caillou and his daddy agreed that the river ride was fun and a bit scary. <laughs> Pretty soon, Caillou was having too much fun to be really scared. Who wants dessert? I do. Me. I want some. Yummy. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure cotton candy is really good for you. Does that mean you don't want one? Ferris wheel. From all the way up here, he could see the whole theme park. <gasps> Daddy! Daddy! Look! It was the biggest teddy bear Caillou had ever seen. If they could throw all their hoops over a wooden block, maybe they could win the bear. Uh, hey. It was a very difficult game for Caillou. It didn't go. It isn't as easy as it looks. Can you do it, Daddy? I'll try my best. Daddy! Way to go! Caillou really, really hoped his daddy could make the third hoop fall over the block. Did you enjoy yourself, Caillou? Oh, yes, Mommy. What was the best part? Was it the river ride? The Ferris wheel? I know. It was Daddy throwing the hoops and winning the bear, wasn't it? Yes! I think we have time for a story before your bus comes. Now, why don't we see what Caillou's up to today? Well, it's a story called Caillou's School Bus. Caillou didn't go to school yet. But every day he waited to see the school bus coming down his street. Caillou really wanted to ride on the school bus with the big children. Daddy, when can I go on the school bus? Well, you won't go to school until after your next birthday. Let's see. This is today. And this is your birthday. But I want to go on the school bus now. Well, I think we could at least go and see the school bus, even if you can't ride on it. The very next morning, Caillou and his daddy got up extra early so they could see the school bus from up close. Here it comes, Daddy. Here it comes. Oh, boy. Oh. Hi, Caillou. Are you coming on the bus with us? Caillou doesn't go to school yet, Sarah. Well, good morning, young man. Are you coming to school, too? Wait a minute. I remember you. I used to take you to school when you were a little boy. Hello, Mr. Washington. How nice to see you again. This is my son, Caillou. He wanted to see your bus. Well, Caillou, I'm very pleased to meet you. And I'm looking forward to driving you to school when the time comes. I want to go on the bus, Daddy. Well, I can't take you today, Caillou. Mr. Washington could see that Caillou was very disappointed. But maybe I could tomorrow, as long as it's all right with your mommy and your daddy. And I'll have to ask my boss if it's okay, too. So I can't promise I'll take you. Isn't that nice of Mr. Washington, Caillou? Let's go and ask mommy. Wow! What's this, Caillou? That's the school bus, Daddy. And who's this driving the school bus? Me! <laughs> Caillou, remember, we have to wait till tomorrow to find out if you're allowed to ride on the bus. Hi, Caillou. It looks like you're 
never going to school today. Kaya was very nervous. He didn't know if he'd be allowed to ride on the bus. Good morning. Well, we don't want to be late for school, Caillou. Come along. What are you waiting for? Go on. Oh, boy. Caillou loved riding in the big yellow school bus. We're almost home, Caillou. There's your daddy waiting for you. Hey! Did you see me, Daddy? I was in the bus! I saw you! Now, let's say thank you to Mr. Washington. Thank, thank you, Mr. Washington. Washington. Goodbye, Caillou. Goodbye. See you after your next birthday. Where are you hiding? It's story time. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> now, let's see what Caillou did today. It's a story called Caillou Looks for Gilbert. Ready, Gilbert. Dinosaur Hunter. It was even more fun when Gilbert joined in. Hi, Caillou. What have you been getting up to? I was playing with Gilbert. I saved him from the bad dinosaur. Did you? You must be very brave to go dinosaur hunting. <laughs> Was upset. He told Gilbert to stay, but Gilbert hadn't listened to him. Daddy, Gilbert's gone. He didn't wait for me. Well, he's not in here. And he's not in the living room. Where is he? I need Gilbert for my game. Gilbert, come here right now! Gilbert, you're a bad cat. Caillou was starting to feel very mad at Gilbert. Where could he be hiding? <laughs> oh, what's going on, Caillou? I can't find Gilbert. He was supposed to wait for me in the living room. He's probably sleeping in one of the bedrooms. Let's go and look. We'll be like detectives. Detectives? Hmm. Well, if we're detectives, we'd better look for clues. What are clues? A clue could be anything that helps us find Gilbert, so keep your eyes wide open. Is this a clue, Mommy? Caillou had found the string from the dinosaur he and Gilbert had been playing with. That meant Gilbert must be nearby. That's a very good clue. I think there's only one room we haven't looked in. My room! Gilbert, come out! Gilbert? Look, Mommy, the dinosaur! Another clue! Well, you are a good detective. Snuggle up, children. It's story time. Look at Caillou. He's having breakfast. But it's not just any breakfast. This story's all about Caillou's surprise breakfast. One morning, Caillou woke up very, very early. Caillou was trying very hard to be quiet and not wake anybody. Mommy, are you asleep? Daddy, are you asleep? Caillou was wide awake and feeling very hungry. He decided to have breakfast right then, all by himself. That gave Caillou an idea. 
he would make breakfast for his family. Boo! Kalu! Hi, Rosie. Come with me. I'm making breakfast for everybody. didn't want to wake his mommy and daddy. He wanted his breakfast to be a surprise. Want some milk, Rosie? Mm. Hi, Gilbert. Are you hungry? Breakfast, Gilbert? Breakfast was a lot of work. Now Caillou had to set the table. Caillou wanted this to be the biggest surprise Mommy and Daddy ever had. Whoa. What was that? I didn't hear anything. I think Caillou's in the kitchen. Caillou? Everything okay, Caillou? Shh. It's a surprise. Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. I wonder what sort of surprise Caillou is making. I wonder, too. The cupboard seemed very full to Caillou. But where was the breakfast food? Hmm, Mommy likes cereal. <gasps> muffins! Daddy loves muffins! <gasps> Mama! Caillou wasn't quite ready. Wait, Mommy! There was one more thing he wanted to put on the table. He wanted his surprise breakfast to be just right. Okay, come in. Ooh. It's a surprise breakfast. It certainly is. Mmm, it looks good. And look, my favorite cereal is already poured. And there's a lovely muffin on my plate. And the butter dish is right here so I can butter it the way I like. I made you the biggest surprise ever. Who wants to hear a story? Is this a story you want me to read? Yay! Read it, Grandma. Let me see what it's called. Oh, yes, it's Caillou's Missing Sock. <laughs> I need socks! Caillou found one of his favorite socks right away. But now he needed the other one. Hmm. Mm. Caillou couldn't find his missing sock in his room. So he decided to go yes. and look in the laundry room. <laughs> Caillou thought the sock might be in the washing machine. But he was too short to see. <laughs> He decided to go and fetch a chair. Caillou tried to open the door, but it just wouldn't open. And that was a bit scary. Mommy, Mommy. Caillou, it's Daddy. I'm here. It's okay. Daddy? Daddy, the door won't open. I'm going to get you out of there in no time. You'll see. I expect the doorknob fell out on your side, Caillou, didn't it? Yes, Daddy. Well, it didn't fall out on this side, but I have to turn it slowly. It's all right, Caillou. What are you doing in here? I'm looking for my sock. Did you look in the laundry room? Let's look together, OK? OK. Mommy brought some clothes up this morning. Maybe she dropped your sock on the stairs. I want to see in the washing machine. Good idea. Let's take a look. Can you see your sock? No. Did I forget to close that door again? There we go. There's nothing in here. I want to see. It's not in here. Oh, well. Let's go find you another sock. Your foot must be cold. But I want my favorite sock. After we find you a pair of socks, you can help me fix the broken doorknob if you like. Hmm. Uh-oh. 
Looks like someone closed the door again. Honey, are you there? Hello? Let's call out together. Mommy! Mommy! Caillou didn't feel scared this time because his daddy was with him. Oh, dear. Are you in there? Oh, no, the doorknob came out. Caillou's daddy explained to his mommy how to put the doorknob back in, and soon afterwards, she opened the door. I'd better fix this before anyone gets locked in again. I'll go and get my toolbox. What happened to your sock? I lost it. I bet I could put a smile on your face. Look in the basket. Here it is. Once Caillou had both his socks on, he helped his daddy fix the doorknob so no one would ever get stuck again. Story time, kids. Hmm. I wonder if there's any way I could fit right between you two so we could all see the book. What's the story about, Grandma? It looks like a new adventure for Caillou. It's called Caillou Goes to Work. Caillou was excited. He was going to go to work with his mommy. The first thing we have to do is go through the revolving door. I can do it. Watch me. All right, go ahead. But don't forget to get out on the other side. Oh. Mommy. Oh, dear. Keep on pushing, Caillou. I want to do it again. Caillou had never seen anything like this before. There were funny noises around and lots of people he had never met before. Caillou? You must be Caillou. Pleased to meet you. Welcome to the office. Caillou is here to work. Here you go, your very own desk for the day. And what would you like to do? I want to do work. Hmm. Caillou thought that working was writing on paper. I can work with that. I'm finished. Look, Mommy. That's great, Caillou. Just a minute. Mommy, this is you, this is Daddy, this is Rosie, and this is me. Take it. It's for you. It's beautiful, Caillou. Thank you. You did a really good job. Can we play now? I can't just right now, Caillou. I have a bit of work to finish first. Maybe you could draw another picture. Hmm. Hello, Teddy. Mommy's work takes a long time. Caillou? I'm not quite done with my work yet, but I have a surprise for you. Hello. Daddy? It's me, Caillou. I'm working with Mommy. I'm doing work. Teddy is with me. I love you, Daddy. Bye. What do you say we have some lunch? Caillou and his Mommy took out their lunch and had a great picnic with Teddy. Why don't we put up your drawing on my bulletin board? That way everybody will see it. Yeah, I want to do it. Wow, it looks great. Hey! Daddy! <laughs> Here you go. I'll see you later at home. See, that's the office where Mommy works. That's right. Caillou was really proud to show his daddy everything he knew about the office. Wait, I want to show you. The doors were very heavy. So Caillou's daddy decided to help. You really have to be strong to push these doors. I know. Caillou told his daddy all about his day at work. Did not. Did two. Did not. Did two. Are you two fighting again? Now why don't you stop that and listen to a Caillou story? Well, look at this. It looks like Caillou and Clementine are squabbling too. Today's story is called Caillou's Quarrel. Caillou's friend Clementine was coming to play, so he was getting his toys ready. Caillou! Caillou, come downstairs. Clementine's here. Hi, come in, Clementine. Come in. Say hello, Caillou. Hello. Now you be a good little girl, Clementine. Play nicely. Yes, Mommy. And don't you cause any trouble. No, Mommy. I'm sure she won't be any trouble at all. 
Come on in, Clementine. Yay! Yay! Wow! You brought lots of toys! Caillou wanted to play dinosaurs with Clementine. And he was going to explain exactly how he wanted to build a house for them with his building blocks. Let's play families. I'll be the mommy and you can be the daddy. That wasn't Caillou's idea of fun at all. I want to play dinosaurs. A teddy bear and a bunny. They can be our children. That's my teddy and my bunny. Caillou didn't like anybody touching his teddy and his bunny without his permission. Let's have a tea party for them. Come and sit down. Give them back. They're mine. Don't be silly, Caillou. Sit down and play nicely. I don't want to play nicely. What's the matter? I don't want to play families. I want to play dinosaurs! <sighs> okay, well, the dinosaurs can be our children, too. Caillou didn't like that idea at all. I don't want to play with you anymore. I don't like you anymore. <sighs> Mommy! Whatever's the matter, Caillou? And where's Clementine? I don't like Clementine. She took my teddy and my bunny. Let's see if we can sort this out, okay? Now, can we all say we're sorry and be friends again? Sorry, Caillou. Your turn, Caillou. Sorry, Clementine. Come on in, everyone. Clementine's big brother, Billy, was a baseball champion. And Caillou was always very happy to see him. Hi, Billy. Hi, Caillou. Want to play ball? Ah! You're going to be a great pitcher, Caillou. Come and have some juice, you guys. Let's have a race. Hey! <laughs> Caillou, you and Clementine are really good at baseball. We'll have to play again soon. Oh, yes! I want to play with you and Clementine again tomorrow, and the day after, and the day after that. <laughs>